What's up guys, it's Early Game Daily News with your host Sami Yonji Moon. We're gonna go through a couple of news today because nothing just caught our eye. We sectioned them off below so you can skip to the bit that you're most interested in. We're gonna start off with Battlefield, which apparently got delayed. That's right, Battlefield 2042 apparently is no longer releasing on October 22nd. Rumor has it it's delayed into 2022. Not sure if that's true. The source is Jeff Grubb, really, and he said that a lot of games are being delayed, but he didn't name specific titles. People then rumored that it would be Battlefield, and then Nick Baker joined in and said, yes, it is Battlefield, though he's not sure if it's 2022. And then I think they're called Dealer Gaming. They also chirped in and said, yes, they also heard that Battlefield is getting delayed. So it seems pretty likely, it seems pretty certain, sorry to say. The Steam Deck. Is basically finished like they're sending out dev kits now which means that companies are now going to get the steam deck they can test it they can provide feedback and valve is just collecting all the info before going live with the system which is supposed to be december just the fact that they're sending out dev kits now is just promising because it means to all you guys that got the pre-order seems like you don't have to wait like this one is releasing on schedule i like to hear that now speaking of handhelds the steam decks recharge a little brother also wants your attention because nintendo now added bluetooth audio Fitting for finally adding Bluetooth audio in 2021, this Bluetooth does not come with mic support and this Bluetooth will disconnect if you try to connect more than one controller. Splendid. It wouldn't be gaming news of the week if we don't mention that Deathloop got 10 out of 10 at IGN, which is rare. And it also got rave reviews at every other outlet. This is crazy, the game, if you're not sure about it, if you didn't know about it, it's a loop. You're trying to escape an island, you have to kill eight people in 24 hours, and you do this as often as you must until you finally get the job done. Roguelite, like, Metroidvania, like, and the twist is that somebody can chase you while you're chasing your targets, which is a multiplayer component that's original. Everybody's hyped for this game. I, I haven't played it yet, but now you know. Game Pass is adding sick new games this month. Aragami 2 is one of them. This game is essentially, just blow it up please. It looks like Ghost of Tsushima, but it has co-op components. It has a lot more stealth, which is reminiscent of Tenchu, if you remember that game. And it just looks slick. And knowing you can play that for free on Game Pass and you can co-op but cross-platform is worthwhile. And now you know. The other game is Sable. And for this one, just... No talking, just, just look at this. PlayStation Plus leak? Hell let loose is supposedly the game coming as an October freebie. Why do we know this? Well, somebody on Reddit rumored, and they have reason because as you can see here, you cannot pre-ordered on the PlayStation. It does say October 4th release date, but you cannot pre-order it, but you can on the Xbox. This alone to me is confirmation because yeah, why would they not want you to pre-order? Because they would then have to pay back and give back a lot of pre-orders when people say, yo, why is it free now? I just paid for this. Makes a lot of sense. Also, another hint is just the October 4 release date, which is perfect for PS Plus. And Sony did this with Rocket League and Fall Guys to boost multiplayer games and just having a large player base, which would be perfect for Hell Let Loose because it has 100 players going 50 v 50 in squad battles, which need communication. It's insane. If you like Battlefield, you love this. And if it's free, there's no reason not to play it. Last one is Star Wars Hunters. It's an online arena multiplayer combat game and I like it because you can lightsaber people, you can chop heads off and you can just be wild, you can be a Jedi, you can be a Sith, you can be a bounty hunter, you can be a Mandalorian type of character. It's amazing. It looks like this. Or playing the graphically rich game Star Wars Hunters online with your friends. The new iPad mini will power right through it with ease. Not a bad look for mobile, honestly, right? Not a bad look for mobile game. For Switch, who don't have a lot of multiplayer games, this is pretty hype with the Star Wars franchise. You know what I mean? Like, I see it. I'm kind of hyped for it. All right, guys, candid moment. Usually we have to chase trends on Google, but if they're not existent, then we have to try something new. That's why we put a bunch of news into this one. Do you like this format? Like, do you like us giving you the whole daily rundown? If you do, let us know in the comments, please, because it helps us to refine our content. Also, thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. See you tomorrow for more news. Don't let me be here on my own. It gets lonely. See ya.